Hi, it's Darren here for Guitar.com. I'm here today with a Sir Pete Thorne signature. Uh, some of you may know Pete Thorne from his uh, YouTube demos, but he's had a long association with Sir, stretching back over 10 years. Uh, during that time, he's, he's come up with a signature amp, the PT100, and also designed humbucker pickups, the Thornbuckers, which are, not surprisingly, in this guitar here. His signature guitar hasn't gone through a great many changes over the years, aside from an increased range of colours, and they've changed the Gota 510 tremolo that was on the original with this Wilkinson, which has lock-in saddles on. Now these saddles, they clamp the string down at the top where the string break is, um, which if you'll notice from most tremolos, when you depress the string hard, they start to leave the saddle, uh, whereas these clamps actually keep the string in contact with the saddle at all times, which increases uh, and improves tuning stability. And to be honest, I haven't put this guitar out of tune since I've had it, so perhaps it's a, a cure for a problem that doesn't exist. But as I said, I've never put this guitar out of tune yet. The electronics are wired a little differently to what you might expect. And in position one is the bridge humbucker, and then two is the inside single coils, both humbuckers in the middle position, Position 4 is actually the full neck humbucker, whereas position 5 is the split neck. And it also has a push-pull on the tone part, which activates the parallel wiring of the bridge humbucker. The parallel wiring of the bridge humbucker is, gives a fantastically powerful single coil type sound, but without the hum. And it's perfect for people who like the sound of humbuckers, who need the power of humbuckers, but appreciate the sort of percussiveness and slightly thinner nature of the single coil sound. When Pete set out designing this guitar with Sir, his, his objective was to create a guitar that he could use live in any circumstances. So he needed something versatile, he needed single coil sounds for rhythm passages, he also needed thick creamy neck tones for solos. Um, the versatility is, is exceptional and I, I've tried to create a track that demonstrates just how versatile it is. So a big thanks to Guitar Guitar for the loan of the Sir. And check out the amazing Pete Thorne solo at the end. Hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. 